Hey there, what is going on today? I'm gonna show you this beautiful application. Uh, it's called a space type generator. Uh, you can enter st space type generator.com. Uh, this guy did this, uh, Kiel D. Muche, blah, blah, what is that? You know, this guy, he's a genius. I really love his work. You can check out his Instagram, it's uh, Genie. You know, I uh, it, it just caught my eyes how wicked things he's doing with uh, the software, and basically it's for free. You know, and you can try it out. So, so I was like, why not, man? Let let me try it out. Let's see what's going on. So uh, you can uh, select a lot of profile profiles. This is one of those, and uh, here you can rename it. Let me rename it. Um, and yeah, here are the options. You can add colors, remove colors. Wait, where's the white? Okay, I'm gonna leave. I think I'm gonna leave it with. Um, let me leave it with uh, the French colors. The French colors. So it's uh, interesting. Uh, if you uncheck, if you uncheck this, it's gonna uncheck the rest. So it basically need to be checked everything. But uh, I have a better idea, so I'm gonna. You also can change the colors by clicking, and I'm gonna make it white. And now I'm gonna. There you go. We got the France. And let me let me experiment with this. Basically, you got a lot of options going on, and you can expand. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. Uh, you can make it wider, narrow, so it's a live typography simulator. You can edit and customize the type and stretch it. Okay, now basically it has like more space in between. <clears throat> and now it adds a lot of copies. But yeah, it starts to get more interesting. It looks, it looks like a flag, basically. You can uh, do a lot of stuff with this, how I see. It's unbelievable. Oh yeah, look at that. So this thing is a lot of fun, that's for sure. Uh, I really recommend you try this thing out. It's like underrated, nobody knows about this stuff. Look at that. And... Uh, yeah, look at that. <clears throat> you don't need to go in uh, Adobe After Effects to do these things because you can do here like automatically. Oh, look at that. Do you want less uh, flaggy style or more? I think this one is the best. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so this one is wild. I'm gonna decrease the speed. Make it calm and relaxed. <clears throat> Wavelength, you can, oh my God, you can bend it really hard. Let me, so this is the maxed out. You can, it doesn't curve, it uh, breaks. But if you decrease it, it's gonna get smooth and smoother and smoother until you get like really. I gonna make it like that. What is that? Look at that. So it's like super smooth. So yeah, this thing is like really wild. You can add like more. I don't know what to say. Okay, so this was one option. You can, you have here in the bottom a lot more stuff going on. So let's check it out. We got Marky. Oh, wow. Subway. We got Wow. And it's lagging a little bit because it's so much stuff going on. Stacks. I think this is the coolest one so far. I'm gonna check this out. I don't know. So here you can uh, also uh, change the background. I'm gonna click it and make it black because it looks phenomenal. <clears throat> Let me scale. So the same stuff is applied here too. You make it wide, you make it less wide. Make it thick. More space, less space. It's too bad if you you can't really customize, uh, you know, the letters in here, like uh, in 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 the Adobe's products. But uh, yeah, this this thing does the same stuff. Wow. Now this is hypnotic. That's for sure. Look at that. Now it's waving even more. <sighs> 
oh yeah this option which is pretty annoying <clears throat> and this just made it really fast i gotta slow it down because it looks really beautiful okay let's go on let's us do the okay we had the stacks old c color c simple wave so uh yeah basically he already did these uh cool things already I like his uh, playing around only with these colors on, on all the presets. So uh, here you also can see another stack of options. So <clears throat> this uh, kind of option has its sub options like what you can do with that. And then you got like the main options. You got the cylinder, you're gonna go to the cylinder and check out. Um, and of course you can... Uh, these are like defaults like what you can do with these and then after that you can also edit these um the cylinder is a little bit more boring this is also an interesting one okay you can make it wide i'm gonna make it really long so there's a problem it's gonna lag i don't know what i did right now Ooh, like it so you got a lot of uh, options customization options and uh, you can play around with but the main idea is you can go here and just check it out what's going on in this menu i gotta go through a little bit <coughs> this is the most boring one the field is just a straight line stripes so this was the stripes coil wow so so far i think this one's the most coolest think I ever seen. I'm gonna rename this. There you go. Now we can play around with that. Okay, so I'm gonna scale. Uh, I don't know. I won't scale it. I'm gonna leave it like this. Man, this is wild. Oh yeah, it's with straight lines or curvy lines. Oh my god. I actually gonna scale this down. I don't know where I... Okay, here it is. Here we go. <coughs> Look at that. It's a lot of text going on. Uh, yeah, and you basically can do it like you can type in manually the numbers. That's also a little bit of problem. Okay. Hmm. It does some weird stuff. That's for sure. All right, let's go. Hey, actually, I can change these. So we got the default options. I love these color combinations, that's for sure. <coughs> wow. So yeah, I think the defaults are the real deal. Um, <laughs> because so far I couldn't create any uh, interesting stuff out of this. Wow. So yeah, uh, you can also do this stuff in, in, in Adobe Illustrator, like I was also doing something like this, but uh, here you basically can do it like automated, like... I don't even know how he, how he did it because this guy doesn't contain any text. Oh yeah, of course. So I'm gonna re-edit this, so now as you can see it's like more longer, it's less longer, it depends how you scale it. Let's see which one is more healthy. This uh, this number is more healthy. I don't know what's going. What's that red right in the bottom, which makes it weird? Look at that. I can make it disappear or increase the. I gotta put it on max. Make it more thicker. There you go. I wonder if you can make letters out of this stuff. Okay, now it's straight. Now it's curved. Ooh. Okay. All right. Yeah, this one is the stuff. Uh, but definitely, you need to like experiment with this a lot to see. Ooh, look at that. 
to see what is uh, going on with this. What you're gonna get out of this. Oh snap, look at that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Oh my god, look at that. I loving it. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna scale it up and make it wild. <clears throat> I don't know, I want to like expand this stuff, I don't even know how to expand it. I mean, sorry, export it. Because this thing looks pretty wild. Um, I don't actually see any export options, so probably you need to screen save it or something like that. I added also like black. Um, this one's sick. Okay, let me try out. Actually, I did try out all of these, so I'm gonna change to... I don't know which one was. Like, we got coil, flag. This one's a different one. Ooh. All right. So mainly these got like different options, that's for sure. But it's wild, man. Look at that. They're like really simple and that's what's up. And that's that's basically makes the magic. Coil flag Morisava. What is that? Look at that. This is wicked. So now we got the options right at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna rename. I don't know, so far I don't know how to change the typography, the fonts. I don't see any of those options. And that's a little bit bad, but uh, yeah, you also can, you know, make custom types because you can't, uh, you can't really import any kind of fonts because these fonts are like super customizable. Like they're like some unique fonts that basically you can bend it and do everything how you want it because uh, you can't do this stuff with any kind of fonts. So that's why basically you can't really import Wow, you can make it more dense or less dense. Ooh. I think it's pretty wild, that is for sure. You can make art basically with this stuff. I like this, how it's framed in now in this, uh, you know, and looks pretty badass. It looks like, Damn, I love this. So this effect for me so far is the best. I gotta check like other options. We've got something like this or what? So he's playing with the MMMM <clears throat> word. I'm just gonna rename it anyways, the Panther. So why not? Uh, yeah, uh, I gotta go. Oh, save. We got the save here, Flux Loop. I wonder if uh, you got the same stuff everywhere else, so... Oh my god. So he typed in the XXX and this is what it came out. Wow, this is so wicked. I'm gonna type in the V. Let me try it with the U. Interesting. Okay, uh, let me see an S. That's something new. Z. Okay, I can I can customize actually. Let me let me try out an O, the letter O. I like this, so I'm gonna go in and see what happens. I'm gonna make it thicker. I don't know, but this whatever this is, a simulator or I don't know, it's it's pretty wild. Oh, I love it! Look at that. Oh my god. Flip mirror, you got you can uncheck the mirror. So right now it's like here is like wide and the bottom is like narrow. You got row flux, you can uncheck it and you can check it back to go like this. Flip speed. So yeah, uh, it's good if you have all this stuff. Too bad you can't really customize all of it like uh, in 100%. So ooh. Okay, let's go on. Flag Morris Cascade. Cascade. <clears throat> All right. Let me let me see these. 
Wow, this is so wicked. Now this is so wicked. We got the cascade. I gotta make it wide. Oh man. I won't make it thicker. I, I gotta make it thinner. I don't know. Actually, this this is pretty good. Less space, more space between the letters. Letters. Uh yeah, it's pretty badass. What can I say? Look at that. Mirror. I th so basically, this this is like starts to get like really really hypnotic. Wow, look at that. Man, I can watch these. I think now it's fast. Yeah, slow. Oh my God, it's so cool. It's really satisfying to watch all this stuff. Look at that. Look at the classic mosaic. Mosaic, I don't know how to pronounce that stuff, but anyway. Run. Salmon, look at these things, man. It's amazing. We got the grid. You can do a lot of stuff with that. What if I had a lot of peas? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. What do we have here? What if I type in my name? Wait a sec, these are space. This is space. He's doing it with space. I don't know, man. <clears throat> this is beautiful. So yeah, he added space in here and this is how, look, this is how he created basically this stuff. Let's make it more dense. The colors are beautiful. I'm gonna... Ah. Now it's like a real wave. You know, in the ocean. O motion in the ocean. Pixel gradient. So this was that. Danger. Oh yeah, I saw this one on his page. Uh, it's a really cool. I love it. So this is basically mimicking the water, uh, the liquid. You can see how pixelated it is. I think it's pretty cool. Size. Yeah. Let me see what else uh, we can do with this thing. Complexity. Anyway, this guy was a genius, you know, to create all this stuff. You need some brains, that's for sure. All good things, yeah. Here you, what is this? Oh, here we got some fonts, finally, finally. I didn't saw this options, you know, in the other pages. So this is uh, all yours. What is that? One day all of this will be yours. <laughs> Just okay. So yeah, it's basically playing with uh, the water effect. And it's called danger, anyway. Spring. So anyways, I see like spring is not loading. Unfortunately, I gotta try to refresh. Ah, no. Won't do that, but... Uh, what is that layers? Did I try this one? The cascade, oh yeah. The cascade so far I think was the most coolest one, but I didn't even see this one. I don't know if I checked this one or not. Speed racer, oh wow. This is so dope. Look at this. Man, so far this is my favorite. But yeah, you definitely can do some wild, wild stuff with these things, so... Uh, yeah, you can also change the fonts in here. I see you got some options going on, finally. 
I wonder if is there some like thick white font going on. There you go. Oh yeah, this is my font. Wow, this is insane. What is it? Front quarter, upward, or front? Whatever. I think this one's dope. Layer, you can increase the layer. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Wow. No way. What is this doing? So I mean, decreasing. Oh, yeah, it's increasing the size of the font. Okay. Man, check this out. So wicked. Show sure wicked, man. So you can, uh, yeah, I think this this one is better because we're talking about. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, this one's good. Sick. Whoa. All right. So yeah, th I think this this was it, man. Um, I'm gonna close it here. You can uh, check uh, check it out. Just go to spacetypegenerator.com. It's right here. I also gonna type in, you know, to in the, into the description so you can click there. And yeah, thanks for watching. Go check it out and also check out the other videos. And have a great day. Bye bye.